How many bowlers can legitimately garner consideration as the greatest woman bowler of all time? As a junior, collegiate, and then as a pro, Liz Johnson was always among the best at every level of the sport. Since I started, I was very fortunate. I guess bowling was kind of, came very natural to me. In her first season as a pro, Johnson collected PWBA Rookie of the Year honors and won the sport's biggest event, the U.S. Open. But then in 2003, just when Liz was entering the prime of her career, the PWBA ceased operations. It was, it was very hard. Um, you know, uh, I didn't, after the ladies tour folded in, in 2003, I, I really didn't know, you know, what, I'm, I wanted to still bowl. And I was only, you know, I was 28 years old. I was in the middle of my career. So, um, you know, that was when the, the PBA decided to let the women bowl. It's the PBA banquet open. The final tour stop of our regular season, but today with a much different twist. In fact, today we make history for the first time ever on a PBA Tour event. A woman makes our TV finals. This, your matchup with Richie Wolf in the round of eight. You said your legs were numb, the emotion was flowing. Yeah. How do you feel now? I'm just working on uh, adrenaline and just going to try to enjoy it and have fun and just have a good time, do what I can. She earned her way here. This is history, Randy. What a start. The first ever ball thrown by a woman on a PBA Tour TV show is a strike for Liz Johnson. Incredible. Johnson has also put together a stellar record in women's competition, winning the Queens in 2009 and the Women's U.S. Open three times. Johnson was the best all week long defeats the bending champion Kelly Kulik. What a performance. Bowling against Liz Johnson, you have to have your A++ game. Uh, I think if I have a first, she's second. If she has a first, I'm second. We're always in battle for the title. And I love that because I have to be at my top. She has to be at her top. And it's going to go back and forth. If you look over the past years, it's probably 50-50. But she makes me want to be better. I think, uh, you know, we're friends and we've known each other for so long and I think we know each other's game so well that, you know, that uh, pushes us uh, for the better. And, uh, you know, she always, she pushes me, I push her. And uh, I think when you're up against the best bowlers in the world, uh, that makes you take that step to that even higher level. She's also been a member of Team USA 10 times and has earned more than two dozen medals in international competition. Liz's consistent style has stood the test of time, and she still feels like her pursuit of greatness is far from finished. You know, I've been so fortunate to, to have so many, to, to be able to travel around the world and, and around the country and meet so many people and, and uh, do so many things in my life that a lot of people have never been able to do. And, um, you know, I really can't, you know, single out anything, but uh, I'm, just, I'm just very, I'm just a very lucky person.